Karl Christian Friedrich Krause, German, Kaz, the 6th of May 1781 to the 27th of September 1832, was a German philosopher born at Eisenberg in Saxe-Gotha-Altenburg. His philosophy, known as Krauseism, was very influential in Restoration Spain. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Education and life. Educated at first at Eisenberg, he proceeded to the nearby University of Jena, where he studied philosophy under professors Friedrich W. Schelling, G. W. F. Hegel and Johann Gottlieb Fichte and became private dozen in 1802. In the same year, with characteristic imprudence, he married Sophie Amélie Concordia Fuchs born 1780, without dowry. Two years later, lack of pupils compelled him to move to Rudolstadt and later to Dresden, where he gave lessons in music. In 1805 his ideal of a universal world society led him to join the Freemasons, whose principles seemed to tend in the direction he desired. In Dresden he published two books on Freemasonry, Hoher Vergeistigung der Echt Überlieferten Grunzenbole der Freimaurere, in Zwolf Logenvertragen and Die Drei Altesten Kunsterkunden der Freimaurerbruderschaft but his opinions attracted opposition from the Masons. He lived for a time in Berlin and became a private dozen, but was unable to obtain a professorship. He therefore proceeded to Dresden, where he taught Arthur Schopenhauer, and afterwards to Munich, where he died of apoplexy at the very moment when the influence of Franz von Bader had at last obtained a position for him. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Philosophical work. One of the so-called philosophers of identity, Krause endeavored to reconcile the ideas of a God known by faith or conscience and the world as known to sense. God, intuitively known by conscience, is not a personality which implies limitations, but an all-inclusive essence wesen, which contains the universe within itself. This system he called panentheism, a combination of monotheism and pantheism. His theory of the world and of humanity is universal and idealistic. In many ways following the general outline of Schelling's philosophy of nature, he argued that the world itself and mankind, its highest component, constitute an organism and the universe is therefore a divine organism The process of development is the formation of higher unities, and the last stage is the identification of the world with God. The form which this development takes, according to Krause, is right or the perfect law. Right is not the sum of the conditions of external liberty but of absolute liberty, and embraces all the existence of nature, reason and humanity. It is the mode, or rationale, of all progress from the lower to the highest unity or identification. By its operation the reality of nature and reason rises into the reality of humanity. God is the reality which transcends and includes both nature and humanity. Right is, therefore, at once the dynamic and the safeguard of progress. Ideal society results from the widening of the organic operation of this principle from the individual man to small groups of men, and finally to mankind as a whole. The differences disappear as the inherent identity of structure predominates in an ever-increasing degree, and in the final unity man is merged in God. <laughs> Influence and works The comparatively small area of Krauss's influence was due partly to him being overshadowed by Schelling and Hegel, and partly to two intrinsic defects. The spirit of his thought is mystical and by no means easy to follow, and this difficulty is accentuated, even to German readers, by the use of artificial terminology. He makes use of Germanized foreign terms which are unintelligible to the ordinary man. His principal works are, beside those quoted above, Entwerf des Systems der Philosophie 1804, System der Sittenlehre 1810, Das Erbeil der Menschheit 1811, and Vorlesungen über das System der Philosophie 1828. He left behind him at his death a mass of unpublished notes, part of which has been collected and published by his disciples Carl David August Roeder (1806–1879), Heinrich Ahrens (1808–1874), Friedrich Wilhelm Theodor Schlieffeck (1808–1871), Hermann Karl von Lenhardy (1809–1875), Krauss's son-in-law Guillaume Tiburgen (1819–1901), and others. Krausism became particularly influential in Spain in the 19th century, where Krauss's ideas were introduced by Julian Sanz del Rio 1814-1869, an academic based in Madrid. 
Spanish crossists combined an emphasis on scientific rationalism and a liberal commitment to individual freedom and opposition to privilege and arbitrary power with Christian spirituality. Spanish intellectuals influenced by Krause included Francisco Giner de los Rios (1839–1915) and Gumersindo de Azcarit (1840–1917). In addition Krauss's influence extended to Latin America, where his work made an impact on Ippolito Irigoyen (1852–1933), José Battle y Ordone (1856–1929), and Juan José Arevalo (1904–1990). Richard Gott has argued that Krause influenced José Martí (1853–1895), Fidel Castro (1926–2016) through Martí and other Cuban thinkers, and Che Guevara (1928–1967) through the influence of Irigoyen. Topic bibliography: Krause, Carl Christian Friedrich, Ausgewalt Schriften, edited by Enrique M. Arana and Eric Fuchs. Stuttgart, Frohman Holzburg, ISBN 978-3-7728-2340-4. Volume 1, Entwerf des Systemes der Philosophie. Erste Abteilung und Thaltend die Allgemeine Philosophie, Nest einer Anleitung zur Naturphilosophie. Ed. by Thomas Bach and Olaf Breidbach, 2007, ISBN 978-3-7728-2341-1. Volume 2, Philosophische Freimaurerische Schriften 1808-1832. Ed., and introduced by Johannes Seidel, Enrique M. Arana and Eric Fuchs, 2008, ISBN 978-3-7728-2342-8. Volume 3, Vermitscht Schriften, 2014, ISBN 978-3-7728-2343-5. Volume 5, Das Erbeil der Menschheit. Ein Versuch. Dresden 1811. 2017, ISBN 978-3-7728-2345-9. Notes topic References This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Krause, Carl Christian Friedrich. Encyclopædia Britannica 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. This article in turn cites Heinrich Simon Lindemann, July 12, 1807 to January 27, 1855, Übersichtliche Darstellung des Lebens und der Wissenschaftler Karl C. H. R. F. D. R. Krauss's und dessen Standpunkte zur Freimaurerbruderschaft, München, Ernst August Fleischmann, 1839, Paul Theodor Hallfeld, March 24, 1840 to July 21, 1910, Krausische Philosophie in ihrem Geschichtlichen Zusammenhang und in ihrer Bedeutung für das Geistesleben der Gegenwart, Jena, Hermann Wilhelm Kostenobel, 1879, Johann Friedrich August Praxia, April 10, 1841 to August 4, 1924, Karl Christian. Friedrich Krause, ein Lebensbild nach seinen Briefen dargestellt, MIT Krause's Photography nach Hannel's Bust, Leipzig, Friedrich Wilhelm Gruno, 1880, 1, Rudolf Christoph Eucken, January 5, 1846 to September 15, 1926, Zur Erinnerung in KCH. F. Krause, Festried Gehalten zu Eisenberg am 100. Gebert Stage des Philosophen von Rudd. Eucken Leipzig, Weit and Comp, 1881 B.R. Bruder Martin Pseudonym of Theodor Busch Karl Christian Friedrich Krauss's Leben, Lehr und Bedüting Leipzig, Joseph Gabriel Findel, 1881 Histories of Philosophy by Eduard Zeller, Wilhelm Windelband and Harold Hofding Topic further reading Orden Jimenez, Rafael Valeriano Born 1965, 1998 El Sistema de la Filosofía de Krause. Genesis y Desarrollo del Penentismo Upco, Madrid, Spain. ISBN 84-89708-30-4. Gok, Benedict Paul, born 1981. Alice and Gott? Zur Aktualität des Penentheismus Karl Christian Friedrich Krauss's. Regensburg, Pustet Verlag, ISBN 978-3791724300. Gok, Benedict Paul. Gott und die Welt? Bemerkungen zu Karl Christian Friedrich Krauss's System der Philosophie. In Theologie und Philosophie. Volume 87, 1, 25 to 45. 2012. Gok, Benedict Paul. On the importance of Karl Christian Friedrich Krauss's Panentheism. In Zeigen. Volume 48, 2, 364 to 379. 2013. 
Ward, Thomas, born 1953, 2004. La Teoria Romanticismo, Krausismo y Modernismo anti la Globalización Industrial University, Mississippi, Romance Monographs, No. 61. ISBN 1 889441 14 7. O. Carlos Stetzer, born 1921, Carl Christian Friedrich Krause and his influence in the Hispanic world, Bolau, Köln, 1998, ISBN 3 412 13597 6.